नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण बोल स्टरिंग टेक्स फोर टेक्स फाइव टेक्स सिक्स एंड टेक्स सेवन ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री कर्म योगा द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ वन प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटी इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ श्रीमद भगवद गीता टेक्स फोर न कर्म नाम नारम भान नैश कर्मयम पुरुषो अश्नुते न च सन्य सनादेव सिद्धि समिगछति नॉट बाय न्यूरली abstaining from work can one achieve freedom from reaction nor by renunciation alone can one attain perfection the renounced order of life can be accepted when one has been purified by the discharge of the prescribed form of duties which are laid down just to purify the hearts of materialistic men without purification one cannot attain success by abruptly adopting the fourth order of life sanyas according to the empirical philosophers simply by adopting sanyas or retiring from fructive activities one at once becomes as good as narayan but lord krishna does not approve this principle without purification of heart sanyas is simply a disturbance to the social order on the other hand if someone takes to the transcendental service of the lord even without discharging his prescribed duties whatever he may be able to advance in the cause is accepted by the lord buddhi yog sva alpam api asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat even a slight performance of such a principle enables one to overcome great difficulties text 5 na hi kashachita kshana mapi jatu tishthatya karma krita karyate bhaya vashah karma sarvah prakruti jay gunai ho everyone is forced to act helplessly according to the qualities he has acquired from the modes of material nature therefore no one can refrain from doing something not even for a moment it is not a question of embodied life but it is the nature of the soul to be always active without the presence of the spirit soul the material body cannot move the body is only a dead vehicle to be worked by the spirit soul which is always active and cannot stop even for a moment as such the spirit soul has to be engaged in the good work of krishna's consciousness otherwise it will be engaged in occupations dictated by the illusory energy in contact with material energy the spirit soul acquires material modes and to purify the soul from such affinities it is necessary to engage in the prescribed duties enjoined in the shastras but if the soul is engaged in his natural function of krishna's consciousness whatever he is able to do is good for him the shrimad bhagavatam 1.5.17 affirms this tyaktva sva dharmam charanam bhujam harera भजन अपक्वो अथापते तथो यदि यत्र क्वा भद्रम अभुद अमुस्य किम को वार्था आपतो अभजत स्वधर्मत इफ समन टेक्स टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस इवन दो ही मे नॉट फॉलो द प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज इन द शास्त्रास और एक्जीक्यूट द डिवोशनल सर्विस प्रॉपरली एंड इवन दो ही मे फॉल डाउन फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड देर इज नो लॉस और इविल फॉर हिम but if he carries out all the injunctions for purification in the shastras what does it avail him if he is not krishna's conscious so the purificatory process is necessary for reaching this point of krishna's consciousness therefore sanyas or any purificatory process is to help reach the ultimate goal of becoming krishna's conscious without which everything is considered a failure text 6 karmendriyani समयम्य य आस्ते मनसा स्मरण इंद्रियार्था विमूढ़ात्मा मिथ्याचार स उच्चते वन हू रेस्ट्रेन्स द सेंसेस ऑफ एक्शन बट हूज माइंड ड्वेल ऑन सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स सर्टनली डिल्यूड्स हिमसेल्फ एंड इज कॉल्ड अ प्रिटेंडर देर आर मेनी प्रिटेंडर्स हू रिफ्यूज टू वर्क इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस बट मेक अ शो ऑफ मेडिटेशन while actually dwelling within the mind upon sense enjoyment such pretenders may also speak on dry philosophy in order to bluff sophisticated followers but according to this verse these are the greatest
cheaters for sense enjoyment one can act in any capacity of the social order but if one follows the rules and regulations of his particular status he can make gradual progress by purifying his existence but he who makes a show of being a yogi while actually searching for the objects of sense gratification must be called the greatest cheater even though he sometimes speaks on philosophy his knowledge has no value because the effects of such a sinful man's knowledge are taken away by the illusory energy of the lord such a pretender's mind is impure and therefore his show of yogic meditation has no value whatsoever text 7 yastva indriyani manasa niyamyar bhate arjuna karmendri yaih karma yogam saptah so vishishyate on the other hand if a sincere person tries to control the active senses by the mind and begins karma yoga in krishna's consciousness without attachment is by far superior instead of becoming a pseudo transcendentalist for the sake of wanton living and sense enjoyment it is far better to remain in one's own business and execute the purpose of life which is to get free from material bondage and enter into the kingdom of god the prime swartha gati or goal of self interest is to reach vishnu the whole institution of varna and ashram is designed to help us reach this goal of life a householder can also reach this destination by regulated service in krishna's consciousness for self realization one can live a controlled life as prescribed in the shastras and continue carrying out his business without attachment and in that way make progress a sincere person who follows this method is far better situated than the false pretender who adopts show bottle spiritualism to cheat the innocent public a sincere sweeper in the street is far better than the charlatan meditator who meditates only for the sake of making a living thank you